Hello, it's Danielle, and I would like to introduce you to the feedback window. So this is what the feedback window will look like after you have clicked the browser extension from your teaching portal. So when you click that little panda button, the student and the course information is pulled in and auto-saved. So we have the name and the course name, um, all of the ID numbers, the correct gender is also taken. And then the default is to choose today's date as well as five stars. But you can also change that depending on the, the student's performance. The other thing that is immediately available to you is the teacher's notes section. So if you just click the browser extension and want to start writing some notes, that is available to you right away. So before we go into making this section available, let's just check out the student information. So we can open it up by editing it. And here you can change the gender. You can see you can upload an image of your student and lots of teachers like to take a screenshot and then you can upload the screenshot into Feedback Panda and then crop it and, and then you have a nice photo of your student. For the name, the name is going to be the, the name inserted into the template. And if your student maybe has a Chinese name for their, um, their display name, you might want to change it so that the Chinese name goes in here and then uh, maybe their name is actually Nikki. Um, so Nikki would be generated in the feedback. You can also add the student's birthday and then a description of your students. So maybe they have specific issues that they want to work through with you, or um, maybe you just want to put a link, a YouTube link to their favorite song. Anything um, you want to put in there to help you out, that's exactly what it's for. So let's, let's put something here. Um, likes ponies. <laughs> I like ponies. So we're going to save the changes to the student and you'll see the description shows up here. And if you want a shortcut, you can go right to the birthday section, adding a photo, all of that is there for you. The course is very similar. We can go in, edit the course. If you want to add a link to maybe some materials that you have to help you teach this course specifically, um, it's a trial lesson, so um, maybe just putting in, you know, whiteboard uh, trial lessons, puppets. <laughs> um, but for other, for other courses, maybe you have like um, Google Docs that you have the full curriculum in, you could put a link to that in the course description. And there we go. Now we have the description right here and now we can go ahead and write a template so to make your own template you can choose new you can go to the cloud and choose a template that has been uploaded by uh, uploaded and shared by other teachers or for trial lessons you can select a template that um, has been gifted to you already. So depending on the level that you've taught, you, there are several templates to choose from. But I don't want to do that. I want to first show you how you can make your own template. You can type the name placeholder Everywhere where you type name in square brackets is where 
the student's name will be used in the template. And then if you write a male pronoun, since we are on the male side, um, name did a great job in his class today. We can generate a female version in her class today and then create the template. So the name has been filled here. Now let's show you what it looks like to take a template from the cloud. So we go to the cloud. There are several different levels of templates even. Um, just you can see how many times they've been imported. Um, maybe you just want to look at which ones are the most up to date or the most popular. So a template to help sell those trials. I like the sound of that one. <laughs> Okay, so just be careful. This is from teacher Renee. So we want to import the template. And then maybe we're just going to take this out so that it only has our name. If you want, you could just change, change it to your name. I'm going to take it out and also, well, the stars are awesome. I'm gonna leave the stars, <laughs> but her uh, sign up, I'm gonna take away. And then I'm going to import the template and watch what happens when we import the template. We have Nikki in the right places. It took the right gender because Nikki is a girl. And now I'm going to add my own sign off. I have a signature saved. You can look at how to do that in another video. I'm going to add my signature. I'm going to add the reward system that we used. And then I'm going to copy the feedback so that I can take the text and paste it in my portal. So once you copy the feedback, Feedback Panda auto saves the, the feedback that you've made. And once this is saved, you have the option to add some parent feedback. So we know it doesn't happen immediately, but when it does, hopefully it does, then you can copy the, the text from your teaching portal and um, add some apples. We'll say that was a five apple class. Hopefully they signed up and then save, save those changes there. So that is the feedback window. Of course, if you have any questions, Arvid and I are reachable from this window here. You can search the help center for articles yourself here or you can start a conversation by just clicking on this arrow that uh, sends a message directly to us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So have fun!